Hi everyone, if you've got a quick fit diverter and if you find that water is not flowing through as it should, I'll show you a few simple things to check. Firstly, most simple one, I'm sure you've already checked this, just make sure it's switched into the on position. Uh, it is quite faint, those little on off marks, but you'll see there you can just simply turn this dial, just make sure it's on, that could be the reason. Next one, uh, maybe there's a blockage in the tube for some reason. So I would probably just like, you might be able to have a feel inside that inlet. I can feel there's nothing sort of stuck there. But what you might want to do is maybe you want to take this hose off. So that's easy. You just need a screwdriver. I've loosened both of those hose clamps. I'm just going to pull the hose off. Oh. And then I can clearly see that that pipe's fine. So we know that's not the issue. Um, also, you'll be able to have a look inside inside the barrel there and just make sure there's nothing clogging there, which there shouldn't be. So the next thing, we're going to have a look at the diverter here. I'm just going to take this fitting off. You know, that's fine as it should be. Now, it's really important with these diverters to make sure you've got a rain head up above or some sort of gutter guard or gutter mesh because these don't have integrated strainers. So we're going to pull this off and we're just going to have a look at that little black grommet inside there and just make sure that no leaves have got caught in there. But again, make sure you've got a rain head. If you don't have a rain head, we've got a few other diverters which might be better suited because they've got integrated strainers. So let's pull this off. Uh, you can use a screwdriver or a drill. I'm just going to use a drill just because I've got it on hand. You just want to make sure that you don't strip those threads at all. So take it really easy, not like what I did on that first one. There we go. So I'm very careful there because I want to reuse, I've got to reuse those holes to put the unit back in. It's not ideal to take this out often because you don't want to ruin those uh, nice holes that you've got. Now I'm just going to pull this black grommet out. It's going to be a little bit tricky. It's not really designed to come out once it's in there. With a bit of persuasion, I've managed to get it out. Uh, I can see there, no problem there, and there wasn't actually a problem with this unit. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to disassemble it. So that's how you take it out. To put it back in, uh, you might just need a bit of dishwashing soap to get it back in the hole there. It is a bit tricky. On that bottom edge, it's a little bit stiff, but you know, you can squish it up with a bit of soap. It'll slide into position. Just screw it back in the way it was at the start. And that's how to check in case there's a blockage on your quick fit diverter.